Did Phil Jackson call the Knicks losers? And not quite, but close. The team president said the Knicks are developing a loser's mentality. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN New York's Ian Bagley. Ian, what is Jackson referring to when he says loser's mentality? He's talking about the Knicks' inability to execute uh, late and close games. You know, they've really struggled with that of late. You know, in their past five losses, they've been within one score of the opposing team with less than five minutes to play, but obviously they haven't made enough plays down the stretch to win the game. So I think that's what Phil is talking about more than anything else. How do you expect the players to respond to his comments? I think they understand it. I mean, they, they've kind of been saying the same thing but not using the same words after these losses. They're, I think, perplexed at their inability to execute down the stretch in the tight moments of, of close games, you know, late in fourth quarters. That's really what's been holding them back of late. I mean, their last seven of their last eight losses, I should say, have been by seven points or fewer. So they're in games. They just have an inability to make the right plays down the stretch to come up with win. At this point, it's pretty early, but how would you grade the job Jackson's done so far? Because already there's criticism that this was a money grab from Jackson, who agreed to a five-year, $60 million deal in March. So how would you grade his performance at this point? You know what, it is so early, Kerry. I think you know we really should wait until this summer and the following summer to really start to think about how Phil has done in, as president because you know, this summer the Knicks have a bunch of cap space. They can make some noise in free agency. They also have a first-round draft pick. And depending on how the cap situation plays out, they could have the same scenario with the cap space in 2016. So that's really where Phil is going to make his impact. But if you're asking me uh, what he's done to this point and to grade him on that, you know, I think I'd give him a C- minus because the trade he made sending Tyson Chandler to Dallas for Jose Calderon and some other guys really hasn't worked well at all. Tyson Jamer is back to his all-star form with the Mavericks, and Calderon was hurt for the first 13 games of the season. So that's kind of backfired on the net. Yeah, C-minus right there from Ian Bagley. Keeping it real. Appreciate that, Ian. You got it, Kerry. Anytime, pal. All right, for the latest on the Knicks, be sure to check out ESPNNewYork.com. For Ian Bagley, I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.